It's time for The Balcony, the show that spotlights independent artists from all over the United States and now the world. Just sit back, relax, enjoy the show. Here you are, The Balcony. Hi, everybody. Welcome to The Balcony Show. I'm your host, Dan Thatcher, here in studio with my co-host, Andrew Chervak. Yo. Yo. Sup. Sup. And stuff. So we got a different kind of show today, man. We're going to we, actually do a good one? No. <laughs> Let's not get People are going to like this one? <laughs> Maybe. Hip-hop is on the agenda for today. Hop-hip? Hop-hip. Hop-hip. Yeah. Hip-hop. Mm, okay. But first, Uh-oh. It's we always have my favorite part of the show, hashtag. The hashtag. <laughs> oh, brother. She's already laughing. She hasn't even said it yet. All right. Hit me with it, baby. Hashtag bug terminator. The bug terminator? Is yeah. Like a vacuum? No, this is even better. Better than a vacuum to terminate yeah. bugs. So, oh brother. This guy over in Brazil, right? Yeah, yeah. He he turned his backyard literally upside down in a in a misguided attempt to his wife didn't like bugs, so Caesar Schmitz he told uh, Focus News, according to the New York Post, that she was scared of them. And, and so she begged him to get rid of the bugs in, the, in their backyard. And I guess they were cucarachos. <laughs> Never heard so, of bug spray? Yeah, well, I guess they were living underground. Okay. And he thought it would be a really good idea oh, no. to take some gasoline. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> so he poured some down, little ratch, nothing happened. Poured some down, lit a match, nothing happened. Kept pouring the gasoline down. You know how you know how when people do the grill thing where they're like <laughs> Oh my god. Well, I gotta What's tell the you the backyard look like now. I gotta tell you something. So the last attempt <laughs> Oh my lord. You can see the implosion. My lord. And the dirt comes up like <laughs> and then you can see a cotch cockroach running away. <laughs> So he didn't even get the damn bugs. Wait, wait, wait. There's a video for that? Oh, there's a video. You got to see it. It's, it's, and of course, the internet is just making it absolutely crazy. Wait, hold on. Okay. I'm going to, while we're talking, I'm looking this up. So, what's it <laughs> called? Dumbass that burns his backyard down with a gas thing? It's on YouTube? I don't know. But while you're doing that, why don't we take a listen to our first song? And that's going to be from Sammy Z, the next whiskey bar. And we'll be right back. I got to see this knucklehead. We 
whiskey bar. Oh, 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 oh. Hi, welcome back to the balcony. And oh, crap, I saw the video during the song. <laughs> what an idiot. I'll put it on the page. Yeah, so we'll put you it guys up. Can it's see just, it. like his whole backyard, a little section goes <laughs> boof and just flips. It's like he flipped a pancake. Yeah. What a knucklehead. All right, well, don't go journeying down there. No. Um, you, get, you get bloated. <laughs> but I like the bug that got away. Yeah, you know what I mean? He's off. like, the bug's like, yeah, F you. <laughs> yeah, dang. I like the chicken in the background comes running over. Was it the chicken or the goat? Something in the background. But anyways, <laughs> this is uh, My Journey by Muggsy, and uh, we'll be right back. <laughs> To rap and I was on this journey Every day I feel like I was learning You made me feel like my future was burning But I'm here right now, yeah, I'm worthy When I started to rap and I was on this journey Every day I feel like I was learning You made me feel like my future was burning But I'm here right now, yeah, I'm worthy Misery is how it started No scenery or harvest I always shred a tear or heartless Pain became a darkness Hit me when I was 15 had no future, had no dream Until everyone pushed me in between That hip hop, yeah, was my scene I found something to find myself To get me out of this living hell I got back up, come on, when I fell And said the truth on what I had to tell A new man with discipline When the culture had witnessed my sin I felt that I had to shine with it Show the world that I was ready to begin Almost about to be given in until hip hop gave me a new beginning. When I started to rap and I was on this journey, every day I feel like I was learning. You made me feel like my future was burning, but I'm here right now, yeah, I'm worthy. When I started to rap and I was on this journey, every day I feel like I was learning. You made me feel like my future was burning, but I'm here right now, yeah, I'm worthy. Drop down rhymes, but need a material. Started writing songs and hit the studio Shalom City was so surreal Felt like a proposition on what they feel Over a two year period I made ride or die When it came out I thought the gangster style was my life Now looking back I'm ashamed Should've thought twice Just want to live like the odds in my mind Guess it made me walk more around like a joke Even when I got that back respect I lied Kill my hopes Time to go back to the rap and suicide notes I was alone again and I couldn't in an atmosphere full of pain While I was trying to make a difference in my place Seemed like a disgrace People trying to kill my faith All because I don't appeal to your taste When I started to rap and I was on this journey Every day I feel like I was learning You made me feel like my future was burning But I'm here right now, yeah, I'm worthy When I started to rap and I was on this journey Every day I feel like I was learning You made me feel like my future was burning Back on the balcony with the magnificent Anne and Dinkman Andrew. <laughs> Just saying. Uh huh. Yeah, wait to hear what that part's going to sound like when I'm done with it. 
<laughs> you gonna go all chipmunk. a chipmunk? Yeah. I'm gonna chipmunk it. The chipmunk threat. I'm gonna chipmunk. It's chipmunk. always at me forever. <laughs> oh, it's happening now. So, buttons. Out of Richmond, Virginia. Yeah, yeah. Amani Blair. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. So, uh, you're gonna really like her. She's uh. She's an up-and-coming. She started at a very young age, at nine, performed at the Apollo, and now she's back and doing her thing. But uh, uh, let's get to her first song. What do you say? All right. So this is going to be called Lane of the Plug, and uh, take a listen, and we'll be right back with the interview. Yo. 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 Monzi. RVA. 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 Whoa, ha. shout out Joe Chancellor. <laughs> mm. Rule one, make them fall in love, then it turn into your bestie. Rule two, show him you a freak and you get a little zesty. Now he wanna arrest me, got me in the cuffs while I'm slobbing on a testy. Then we make it go lefty, role playing, he can be my brother like Jeffrey. Nigga, I'm the shit. Rubbing on my titties while I'm riding on the dick. Contemplating marriage while I'm swallowing his kids. When my mama finally hit it, she gon' probably have a sick. Like Lena, eat my ass for dinner. My waist is getting slimmer and my booty getting bigger. Like Lena, eat my ass for dinner. My waist is getting slimmer and my booty getting bigger. It's lit. He paying all my bills, so I'm gonna let him hit. Ha, and he five times two. Prime on the B gave me something to grind to. And all these niggas on my cargo. I'm doing fine, homie, doing Wells Fargo. It's kind of sick that these girls be on my dick, but they know they never see me with this rap as far as bars go. Oh, and I make the call. Only 411, so I'm giving him my all. Money gave no fucks. Brokey hit the DM and he had no luck. Ha, he had me all fucked up. Went back to my nigga, got him all sucked up. Now he want a 3Z. Horrible decision, call a man. Shawty's in the club and we clapping it up We racking it up Niggas always want hugs but we dapping them up My man's got the green and he bagging up Fellas always trying to hit the Jane and I be cracking up I got my smell good on sweet lavender Nigga wanna suck all of the juices out my body like he Dracula I hit my man DMs with my cellular I told him he must be the one cause I don't do this on a regular I swear to ya, I know that honesty is ready ya I cut a bestie off, she pissed me off so then I dead it up I swear my girl's the prettiest compared to her I could be the grittiest and I don't give a fuck cause I ain't scared of her Then I start to wonder why they testing me I just be working on my music trying to focus on my legacy 25 and I'm winning again He feel like the beginning again Yeah I'm back and I'm killing again Me and Lena June 1st and we twinning again Oh yeah we did it again I like Lena Eat my ass for dinner My waist is getting slimmer And my booty getting bigger Like Lena Eat my ass for dinner My waist is getting slimmer And my booty getting bigger Hi, everybody. Welcome to the balcony, and I am super stoked and excited. See, two things, Andrew. You're always stoked and excited. I know, because I love this part of the show. i got to get you another word. No. Like, wicked, Fantastic. awesome, cool. No, don't use that one. You All get right. scared a guest. Anyways, we have the lovely Imani Blair. Hello. Hello. Hey, she stuck around. Yeah, we didn't scare her <laughs> off. Dang it. <laughs> I yes, thought the radio so bill here. of rights Miranda was scared. She, she's like, yeah, I'll call my lawyer. I like yeah, this girl already. Call, but there's nothing in writing. There's I like this girl writing, already. So it's all good. So our listeners just heard your first song, Lena the Plug. You want to tell us a little about that and how it came to be? Yeah. And- 
Yeah, so, I mean, if they heard it, they know that it's really raunchy, it's really fun. It just shows a different side of the young girl who just is free and carefree. I feel like as girls, sometimes we are grown up to be scared of everything. We're grown up to be very guarded. And um, I just, I, that song represents freedom for me. It, um, it was inspired by Linda the Plug, the porn star. And she is very, she lives her life just as she pleases. And it's really inspiring. So that's what Linda the Plug is based off of. And it's really fun. I love performing that song. It's probably my favorite song right now. Oh, okay. Yep. How did you come to, do you know her personally or? Well, it's funny. She's a popular YouTuber. Okay. And so I'm always on YouTube and me and her have the same birthday. So I don't know if it was the birthday or just, I don't know, just the way she carried herself. She is super free. She's super like fearless or if she gives that all, you know, that she's super fearless. And that just really inspired me. Well, I think there's a big movement right now, uh, Amani, with women and trying to take back that power about, you know what, I'm more than just a, a body. and 100%. Uh, and the 100%. messaging is changing, and I really like that. I know? love it. I love it. I love it. So what made you, you at, at age nine, you performed at Apollo. That had to yes, be ma'am. like crazy. You didn't get the crazy hook, dude, did you? <laughs> oh no well <laughs> what's so funny is they don't like for kids kids don't get booed i was only nine so like if you're a kid on there they don't ever ah. you know do the womp womp and all of that no but um it was a great show we actually they had auditions in dc and um we went up to dc stood in line for hours on hours and we auditioned and i got in and um i was on the apollo so that was like Huge, you know, being on that stage. Now I can appreciate it because I'm older. But at that time, I didn't know what I was doing. You know, I was just having fun. What and, did you? Um, was, uh, what did you sing? I had a song called "Girl from VA." If you actually go on YouTube right now and type in the search "Girl from VA," you'll see it. I'm. I was 10 years old and I was dancing and rapping. Uh oh. And I had backup dancers. Uh-oh. And it was pretty off the chain. <laughs> Probably one of my best performances ever still. So how did that how did that form what was to become? Because you you were on the scene for a while and then you kind of like took a, a little bit of a hiatus and now you're yeah. back full force. How yeah. how did that shape what happened, you know what I mean, where you are today? Well, I like to call it a blessing and a curse, right? Because I'm blessed in a way that from a very young age, I knew exactly what I wanted to be. I knew who I wanted to be. You know, I I mean, I got to see it with my own eyes. I'm like, oh, this stage is it. You know, like I knew I wanted to be on the stage for the rest of my life, which is a blessing to know that at a young age. A lot of people my age still don't know what they want to do. But the reason I say it was a curse is because I literally dedicated my whole life to music. And so at that age when I had disappointments or when people told me no, which now I know that's just a part of the music business, but at that time it was too overwhelming for me. I began to be a really depressed and I developed anxiety, you know? Um, It was really, really tough. And that was a time before independence was a thing. You know, it was all about getting signed to a record label. So hearing record labels tell me no was very overwhelming for me at that age. Well, you know what? You're back. You're stronger and you're better. Oh, 100%. And I'm so happy. I'm so happy because I was I didn't have the strength that I have now or the knowledge or the wisdom or anything, you know. All right. So your next your next song, um, Shoot 'em, which deals yes. with a I encourage all of our listeners, uh, you have to see the video uh, because it it really you're really telling a story. That's one of the things that I really like about this. But you're also opening some doors and and opening some eyes about, you know, what is happening. Yeah. And, and, you know, kudos to you for using your platform to do that. So why don't you you tell our listeners about Shoot 'Em and the video and and I'm going to I'm going to just let you take it. 
Absolutely. Um, so shoot them is about human trafficking and organ trafficking. I remember watching the news and it was like one weekend, 18 girls went missing in Washington, D.C. And there was nobody really talking about it. Um, it seemed like it wasn't a big deal. And so I just started doing more research and it's little girls missing all over this country. And I'm sure all over the world, like parents can't find them, families can't find them heartbroken and there's no answers. So when I dug a little deeper, I don't know if y'all remember the movie Taken, but that was my first time yes. ever seeing human trafficking in that form. And it's really happening. It's very real. Um, it's it's super scary. You know, I really don't even have another word for it. I mean, I'm I'm thankful that this song was made, but it's still a an issue that's not being taken care of. People still are not talking about it, and it's happening at huge rates. And you know, it it really hurts my feelings to talk about it because it, I kind of feel helpless. I don't really know what I can do or what we can do. Well, you're doing it to change the situation. Right now, you're, you're doing it. You're making an awareness, and then anytime, you know. You might not be in the middle of physically changing the life of someone, yeah. but because you're bringing an awareness to it, who knows what's going to happen after you know this interview goes out? You might get two or three people that might be in law enforcement or something right. that go, "Wait, wait right. a minute, you know what?" Right. So anytime you could do that with a platform, and you're doing it out of a a good place, you're not doing it out of a yeah. place to try to make profit out of it. Right. You know, you're, right. you're it's about awareness, and anytime you right. can do that to any issue is a great thing. So you should hold your head up high for that. Not well, only, not only that, that thank you. but, you know, I don't think that when you're younger, like you guys, <laughs> you're not thinking, you're not looking around corners. You're, you're always thinking that that can't happen to me. 100%. So. 100%. Anybody who looks at this video, that's going to stick with them. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, it, it it may not have an impact initially other than to be aware of, of what's going on. And I think you're absolutely right. I think this is something that needs to be brought to the forefront. But again, I, you know, kudos to the artists who are, are speaking out against a lot of things that are going on right now. It is a way for the communication to get out there. Uh, the yeah, video. Well, thank you. Um, who did the video for you? My favorite videographer ever. His name is Virgil Odell. He is out of Richmond, Virginia, and he does amazing work. Amazing work. I mean, you know, I did what I did with the song, but that video is his. All that editing, all of the slow motion, he did all of it. And I just, I love working with him. All right. So we're going to take a break here and... We're going to take a listen to Shoot 'em and we'll be right back with the rest of the interview. They're going to try you when you're doing good. They're going to try you when you're doing bad. Guess what? Let me see you try when you're dead. They're going to try you when you're doing good. They're going to try you when you're doing bad. Guess what? Let me see you try when you're I dead. I'll fool them. Oh, yeah. They think I'm naive and I won't even do them. I want all the smoke and I'll take it right to them These takers is evil and evil consume them I'm thinking it's a game when these bullets go through them They better not try it, I swear that I'll shoot them I'll shoot them, 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 I'll shoot them. If they try to take me, my gun will pursue them Swear to God I'm gonna lose it, I know that I'll do it If niggas run up, then I'm getting right to it I don't wanna prove it a lot of black girls missing I wonder why But that's the reason that I'm anxious in the nighttime. Fucking paranoia keep approaching at the right time Niggas pull up on you and you're feeling like it's fight time But see I'm talking about the white crime White van right beside you at Valero Snatching brown girls every country in the world No melanin, no organs, worth the most in their row Oh you ain't know The day was taking niggas organs for the dough The day will snatch you out your car and put your liver in a jar And go to France and sell your kidneys for the low I know that I'll fool them They think I'm naive and I won't even do them I want all the smoke and I'll take it right to them These takers is evil and evil consume them Won't think it's a game when these bullets go through them They better not try it, I swear that I'll shoot them I'll shoot them, 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 I'll shoot them If they try to take 
protect me, my gun will pursue him Swear to God I'm gon' lose it, I know that I'll do it If niggas run up, then I'm getting right to it I don't wanna prove it So I got real steel And I waited for the time and to be perfect Had to show him how to kill Don't know how to feel Cause he's clearly aggravated While I'm kicking him and punch him in the grill I ain't going easy, see I'm fucking up the deal Fighting in the mud, shit is fucking up my heels Fighting for the death and I'm showing off my skill And he trying to get control, I ain't fucking with the pill Got a hundred reasons that I'm lacking But I'm lacking and I finally found a weapon So I'm asking for the action Got a hundred reasons that I'm laughing And it's passing and it's smirking Going absent so I'm basking and I'm blasting These things are happening These things are frightening I'm not gonna rap again I'm just gonna clap again I'm gonna grab the strap again I got my back again It's in my lap again They don't really care about All right, we're back on the balcony with uh, newly crowned Queen Amani. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. That's right, That's yes, right. Queen. <laughs> Dang. That's all I need is another woman ganging up on me. Absolutely. <laughs> Bunch of friggin' knuckleheads. It's about time. I know, it's right? It's about time. Pumble them into the ground. Go ahead, Amani. You I know give you permission. I I, I, but I like when people swing back. Yep. She's swinging back. I like it. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. <laughs> so where can they where can they follow Amani Blair? Where can they get yes, your music? So I make it really easy. My name is Imani Blair on all platforms. That is I M A N I B L A I R on Twitter, Instagram. My website is imaniblair.com. I make it very simple. You can go on Spotify, um, Apple Music, SoundCloud, everywhere the music is streaming. Type in Imani Blair. Once again, that is I, M as in maniac, A, N as in never, I, B, L, A, I, R, <laughs> everywhere. She followed me back. Woo-woo. <laughs> yeah. Check this out I'm now. sorry, Imani. <laughs> <laughs> You're fine. It's You're going to get silly. ugly now. <laughs> Uh, all right and do you have any are you working on anything uh what's coming up yeah yes yes i'm actually i'm doing a big show i'm i'm hosting the show and i'm gonna have other artists perform and myself in richmond virginia on november 16th i'm locking down the location literally as we speak so i hate talking about it before it's done but it will be november 16th so if anybody's interested I have some of my live performances on my YouTube page and on my Instagram, so go check it out. Um, I love performing live, and it would be great to have you guys come support. <laughs> no, you don't this want girl's that. Brave. <laughs> this girl's brave. This girl's really brave. <laughs> no, but if you're in that area, yeah. you better That's hit it up. It's a great area. Richmond. Yes, it is. It's a really yeah. Great area. yeah, I'm going to people listening. I'm going <laughs> to... Oh, oh, no, no, oh, oh sure. a diss. <laughs> Now we get dissed on our own show. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's it. I mean, I know y'all. I, I, I figured y'all didn't want to travel. I figured. Uh -huh. You're back to peasant Imani now. <laughs> no. I unqueenized you. No. Oh, oh pish posh. He did not. So <laughs> the final song that our listeners are going to hear is June 1st. You want to tell us about that? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So June 1st is my birthday. Um, that song is actually the first song I put out since my return. It's kind of my life story. Um, everybody who likes Shoot them, they like that lyrical content. June 1st is giving that same thing. It really describes what I've been through. Me living in L.A., me living in Atlanta, all the heartbreak, going to different labels. I talk about it all in that song. So that song means a lot to me. Um, I hope you guys enjoy it. All right. Well, listen, I want to thank you. Do you have any final shout outs for anybody, Imani? I just want to shout y'all out. The Balcony Show. Thank y'all so much for having me. This is like my first podcast radio show I've done in a minute. So thank you so much. She just wants queen status again. <laughs> She's sucking right up. I see how this is now. I get it. 
<laughs> them Atlanta, DC, LA women's, they, you know, they, they smart. <laughs> I am Virginia. I am Richmond, uh, Virginia. Shout out to Richmond, Virginia. All right, wait, maybe we'll move you to princess level now, I guess. <laughs> we'll see how it listen, goes. Listen, listen, queen. Listen. Listen, queen. Yeah, he keeps switching it up. I see? know. I hate her. That's not a hater. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I want to I want to thank you so much, Imani Blair, for taking a moment and uh, sharing your music here on the Balcony Show. Please thank you get for out. Me. Uh, check out her music. Absolutely, check out that video and buy her song. Buy Don't her song. Rip them off, you dinks. That's right. Yeah. Oh yeah. Buy them. It's made ninety nine cents. Support yeah, come on. Artist. Yeah. You spend five bucks on crappy coffee at that star sucks <laughs> that's place. A fact. And that's a fact. And it's gonna be more than five dollars. It's like five dollars. <laughs> yeah, and I 70 know. Cents. Oh, you want latte with that? It's Are you too done no, bitching no. about coffee? We're, really? We're having a moment. <laughs> <laughs> no, I feel him. <laughs> why, why? Why am I paying eight bucks? <laughs> All right. That's a fact. So we're going to uh, listen to June 1st, and yes, we're out of here, and we'll catch up with you later, I guess. Thank you, guys. Thank I hope you, to Imani. be back soon. All right. Bye-bye. Shamar, Sam, you make this. Remember fourth grade when we moved to Henrico My mom found a house that we might go Moved on over to Hanover with the white folk My daddy must have had a good fight though But that shit was trash Only girl of color in my fifth grade class I tried to keep it optimistic but that shit left fast I tried to make a couple friends but that shit ain't last Oh, But I figured it out All white school and I niggered it out I finally got to high school, I was bigger than clout I had a Puerto Rican boy, he was digging me out We did it too soon and we always ate lunch around noon Had some hating ass friends They was always in the room And my mama tried to warn me But I never would assume Fast forward 17, move forward Moving to LA Ain't as easy as it seems Chasing dreams But I couldn't afford it But I tried And Christopher Williams lied He told me he would help me If I moved, I tell ya Never pay attention to the dreams They sell ya Left feeling like a failure Wish I could've said Life got better Moved to Atlanta Tried to make cheddar And you're back on the balcony, proudly produced at Midnight Studios for all your musical production needs. Check us out at MidnightStudiosNJ.com. Up next is our spotlight with our lovely host, Emily Noel. Over to you, Em. Hey, everyone. It's Emily Noel. And joining me tonight is one of my fellow Team Midnight Chicas, Sarah Z. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Emily. Thank you so much for having me. Of course. So our listeners tonight are going to hear your latest single, Biggest Mistake. Do you want to tell us a little bit about it? Sure. Um, it's actually a single that I actually wrote back in 2016. And I wasn't actually planning on releasing that single until I met Andrew and he actually fell in love with it. So we then decided to, you know, create a masterpiece <laughs> love it so where can we find it where can we you can find listen it, to it and stream it and buy it and share it on spotify itunes especially youtube because it has a nice cool music video 
with Andrew Sherback in it. So, you know, you can't miss it. <laughs> oh, then I definitely don't want to watch that. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. Awesome. So um, do you have any um, shows coming up lately that we can come out and see you perform live? Yes, I'm actually performing in Reading, Pennsylvania, Reverb, October 31st. Perfect. Believe doors open at 9 p.m. All right. So where can we keep up to date with you on social media um, so we can get that information for sure and see what you have coming up next? So my Instagram, you can search up Sarah Z, but my um, Instagram username is actually underscore vintage. On Facebook, it's Sarah Z and Sarah with no H at the end of Sarah, okay? (laughs) Got it. Awesome. Well, I want to thank you so much for joining me and um, I can't wait to, I love this song, so I can't wait to see what you have coming up next. Oh, thank you so much. Of course. Thank so everyone, <laughs> everyone take a listen to Sarah Z and her latest single, Biggest Mistake. Back on the balcony, and uh, we're we're searching. <laughs> <Woo-hoo>! <laughs> another another Wednesday evening fun. Another Wednesday evening. 
Happy hump day, everyone. Yeah. See? Okay. See how it is? All right. Well, let's get the next song and we'll all go out humping. All right. Well, this next song <laughs> is by a singer, Monroe. Monroe. Um, this is his newest song. So. Check it out. Check it out. As soon as I figure out what the title of the song is. How can... to be with you, which I usually am not. How to That's be with you. That's a lie. You. Proud to be with you. Oh, proud to. No. All right, let's, let's get to the song and I'll deal with this off air. Thank you. <laughs> Shorty, this one is for you. the balcony and uh we've determined that ann is smoking too much crack she's uh she's now talking about robots who came down to clean up garbage and the fell disney in love robot. With robot he's so cute he's so cute. he fell in love with the new robot stop smoking crack i'm not i'm gonna have this i'm i'm looking it up yeah don't get old you know why because uh, oh. your memory goes to hell no in mine Oh, yeah, well. Who are you? <laughs> Why are you here? <laughs> oh, my God. All right, you know what? Be- before this digresses any farther, let's get to, uh, this is a combo kind of workout here. This is DJ Aristocrat featuring Anna Hretsenko, and this is called uh, Save Me. And uh, 
We'll be, we'll be back Lord <laughs> save me. Lord Someone save come oh save God. me. Save, save me, Anna. <laughs> yes. From crack. Here we go. <laughs> Back on the balcony, and and I, we don't know where Anne's gone. Oh, are we recording right now? Well, yeah, that's what oh. the light means. Hey, it, oh you're on the God. balcony. Both of them are over here smoking crack. <sighs> well, this next song I'm excited about. Yeah, you actually were down there in I Smashville know. chilling. I got to meet Kristen t- Parisi finally, and got to hang out with her and David Reuter from Big Tent, and went to coffee with them. It was pretty cool. Um, so it's cool to see where all this takes place in their studio. So this is Kristen Parisi's song, Money in the Bank. Check it out. <laughs> Look in your eye, I know I'm gonna hit the jackpot Ever 
Sticking with us here on the balcony show, we are help me. <laughs> help me! I should have stayed stuck in traffic, man. <laughs> Come save me! Wow, Anne has gone beyond off the deep end and off the range, and I don't know where. You yeah, are. but that's what makes it so interesting, don't you think? Yeah, I'm always off the range. I've never been on the range in my life. If she was, I'd be concerned. Yeah, you're like a free range chicken. Uh, I like no, that. No, I I am not a chicken. I do not know. You with your chicken legs, you ought to talk. <laughs> chicken You're little. You're like a little banny rooster. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Mama Moo. <laughs> banny rooster. All right, I see where this is going. Oh, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> you can hear a lot of Elvin the Chipmunk. Hey, cock a doodle doo. You're going to get a cock a doodle doo. <laughs> It is hump day after all. Yes. Yeah, maybe you're gonna cock a doodle don't. <laughs> well, I've heard a cock a doodle don't in my in my lifetime. I'm just saying. Uh-huh. There's word. There's more cock a doodle don'ts oh, out there than there is do's. Don't. So last Saturday night, there was a private party up at the club. A whole bunch of uh, college kids imbibing ferociously. Mm-hmm. On the mm-hmm. drinks, little do they realize that there are cameras all, all, all over the club. Oh no! Oh no! Yeah, well, two little cockadoodle doos decided to go try to do the do. Stop! Yeah, up in one of the the <laughs> up in the production room where there's a camera. Two guys? No. Well, you said cockadoodle two, doos. Two cockadoodle doos. Well, a do and a do that. A hen. Yeah. A cockadoo so, uh, and, well, well, and a hen. Needless to say, nothing got done, and it cost them 275 bucks to fix the printer that they dumped their drinks all over <gasps> while they're trying to get the fascicle on the manizzle on the table. Oh, it was pr- what a great story to be able to tell, though, when you're old like me. I'm just saying. You know, I remember the time that I was. That, you, who didn't do stuff like that when you were younger? I didn't do that. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't I well, maybe didn't not in, in. I didn't do it in public. You've never you've never done the do in public? No. Not that I can remember anyway. Uh, well, see, that's the not whole Not that point. I can remember. There we go. That's so it could have happened. I just don't remember. In a car? Yes, yeah, he dead silence. No, I don't ever think I did. You've never gone parking? No. Oh, man. You know why? Because I like comfort when I'm when I'm doing the deed. I want comfort. I don't want to be smashed up in a car. Oh, honey. Wow. No, no, no. You get, see, I dated a guy that had a pickup truck and we put a f- mattress in the back and went and slept underneath the stars. Well, that's, that's cool. Of course you did. You know? But I, I never dated someone with a pickup truck. Well, there you go. So anybody with a pickup truck, call the balcony show. <laughs> Please don't call the balcony <laughs> show. Yeah, uh, we're trying to help M experience life in the fast lane. Oh, I've experienced life. Oh, yeah. You're her pimp daddy for there a pickup truck. There we go, baby. Please don't call the balcony. All right. It, it's 1-800-CALL-M. <laughs> don't call me either. <laughs> you can find her. We'll give her all her social media. Jesus. <laughs> oh, I got. We got to see some of these, these requests coming in now. Oh, yeah. I think we should. 
They they should be able to like win a date with you. Win a date with M. <sighs> yeah. I think we should probably go. M's giving. And what the hell do I get out of this? I get another crazy. Well, they gotta, they gotta, there's got to be an entry fee, yeah. and then they can pay for your new song. See. All right, contact the balcony. <laughs> oh, here we go. At one eight hundred. We've just stepped on every FCC rule <laughs> possible. Yeah, well, we better get out of here for the cops show up. That's true. Well, I want to thank you guys for being a part of the balcony. Say good night, guys. Good night, guys. And we're gonna end things tonight with a song from Shanika Robinson. Bags. Take a listen. Good night, everybody from the balcony show. We'll catch you next week. <laughs> I just want to run away and say how it feels Go get me a Pepsi and some Crown Poe up and chill I don't want to talk, just want to roll and pop a pill I can't go to sleep tonight, ain't no going to sleep tonight I've been running, I know, can't wait on nobody, I gotta go You know I'm a savage and my head be smoke I don't go get it, then I'ma be broken Giving me shit, count on these hoes Willing to be fumming, but plot on the low Faking the love they got for me so Selling fake tickets to shows when I blow, oh Time don't wait for nobody, nobody Keep, keep moving in that road, they don't go TikTok If you stop watching, keep moving You only gon' get one life, gotta stay up in the music Gotta watch the way you're moving Stiff us count, fuck you lose losing yeah, I need a bag, I need a bag I'm on my fish, yeah I need a bag, I need a bag I'm on my fish, can't wait on nobody The money keep falling and I need a bag, I need a bag I'm on my fish, get fifties and hundreds You're running and running, yeah, I need a bag I'm getting a bag, yeah, keep yeah. I need a bag so I put when I get it I'm counting it up, 50 hundreds and tennis We at the casino, she's shaking her titties We maxing the bed, we keep hitting, we hit it Got the same blood so you know we both pretty Shout out to my sister, whole summer was lit Give me five more minutes, running it up But the way, yeah, a million, a million I don't think if I want it, I did it Everything I think I can do, I done did it I think I can do everything and I'm with it Been sleeping too long, about to wake up the city This is blind, but they still gonna witness The body away from the ink when I'm spitting Body in a boot, no tattoo, but you feel me Body in it behind my side to the living Run away and say how it feel Go get me a Pepsi and some Crown Poe up and chill I don't wanna talk, just wanna roll and pop a pill I can't go to sleep tonight, ain't no going to sleep tonight Time don't wait for nobody, nobody, it keep moving And in that road they don't go TikTok if you stop watching, keep moving You only don't get one life, gotta stay up at the use it Gotta watch the way you're moving, slip us count, go you lose it Bitch, yeah I need a bag, I need a bag I'm on my fish, yeah I need a bag, I need a bag I'm on my fish, can't wait on nobody The money keep falling and I need a bag, I need a bag I'm on my fish, get fifties and hundreds You're running and running, yeah I need a bag, I'm getting a bag, yeah